Touch gloves, fellas. Touch gloves. Good. Lou Fugazi is the referee. Roberto Frias in the blue. Zapdiel Judah in the gold. Stop. Box. There we go. Frias coming in, moving in quickly. And again, we had that southpaw problem again. Let's see who, who controls the way the way they want the other guy to move. And so far, it's Judah that's moving to his right, the way I think that a fighter should move, or a southpaw should move when he's fighting. And, and I could be wrong if there's different theories, but that's the way I have, I have my guys fighting. One of the other theories, Gilded well, Newton, some, some, Sometimes if you, you if you feel that you have a guy that's a much harder puncher, you can move the other way, and you, you bring yourself over to get nailed, but you can also nail the other guy. Good left hand by Frias got in. Frias is quick. Frias is also a little wild. Unlike our last southpaw, Judah does have that snapping jab, which I think bothers opponents when people aren't used to fighting southpaws and that jab right. is in their face the whole time. Zabdiel Judah has just turned 18. He was novice champion last year. And Judah is steering his opponent around. He see him doing it, doing it again. Great. And again, you see him sliding to his right as he punches, takes himself right out of his opponent's punching range. Nice combination by Judah. Great. And then you saw him step over. So he didn't wait. He didn't wait for the receipt. Frias in the blue, born in the Dominican Republic. His father fought professionally in the Dominican Republic. Good combination by Judah coming in. Started with the right hand to the body. Great. Judah quick in and out. One, two, in, and then pulls right out of it. Now, 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 now he's moving again to his right. He had, he had given that up for a while. Maybe he figures he can just now punch Frias. Great! Pace has slowed down just a little bit. They both look very relaxed to me. They don't look tight at all. Nice combination yeah. by Judah. Beautiful combination. Quick, short punches. Straight left hand scores for Zabdiel Judah. <laughs> End of round one. And Zabdiel Judah seems very pleased with his first round. All right, how do you feel? Sam, when they have those hockey fights, do you call the blows or do you just let them fight? No, I let them fight. I don't like I don't like fighting in hockey. Oh, I like don't start on this. The, I like the fighting in the ring, the boxing in the ring. Well, so do I, Sam. I Keep the hockey on the ice. I agree with you 100%, right? Sam. There you go. 100%. Maybe I'll get rid of that. David. I'm getting I'm John Davidson in here. <laughs> Stay in your corner. Stay in your corner. Ready for round two. I don't want any arguments with Davidson. He's a little too big for me. <laughs> Both came out much quicker this time. Yeah, but again, Judah is moving to his right. And you see, look oh, at that, yeah. look at that movie. He takes himself right out of, out of his opponent's punching range and, and, and scoring punches at will. My feet got tied up there. He pops that jab. Boy, he really looks good. And box! Looked like. Frias, his head came up into the chin of Zabdiel Judah. That was the caution from referee Lou Fugazi. Again, the Frias is basically a hooker. And by uh, Judah moving to his right, he's taking that hook away from, uh, from Frias. Do me a favor. When the women get in the ring again, don't describe one of them as a hooker, OK? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I 
think Frias is having some problems figuring out Judah's style. Absolutely. Good work to the body by Judah. Davis, look at that. Oh. Look at that slide over to the right. Beautiful footwork. If Michael Moore would have remembered that uh, when he was fighting George Foreman, he'd still be champion That's of the right. world. Stop! That's a low blow. Unintentional. Judah dipped down, wanted to come up with a left hand, and he caught Frias, and Frias in some pain. He wear the protective cup, but uh, One, that really caught him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, you okay? Now, despite okay. the fact Five. that it was a low blow, because Frias went down, he was given the eight count. Hey! I'm leaving that one alone. The only fault I find with Judah at all, sometimes when he throws his combinations, he gets his feet. Look at that move again. But he gets his feet a little too wide apart. Takes away some of his power. Well, he's got good angles on his punches. Well, that's it. Again, it's that movement. Break. Also, twice during this bout, I've watched Judah be very careless when the referee says break. You know, they say protect yourself at all times. He's dropped his hands twice. Now, he didn't get nailed either time, but well, it could happen. But Gil in the amateurs, you're not allowed to hit on the break. Once the referee calls break, you can't you can't hit. But, but while he's laying on the on the floor. Oh! And down goes Frias. Two. He, he is may hurt. not get up. Let's see. Count is five. Six. Seven. Wow. Frias. Little shaky. The round is over. What a finish to the round. Again, a reminder that in amateur boxing, a knockdown well, scores for one point. If we would have counted him out, we might have just qualified him, depending on what we felt. That's what that is. All right, you may have just heard the referee explaining the low blow. I was Lou Fugazi talking about the low blow. There's the knockdown. Let's take another look at it. See Judah fainting in front of him. Oh, right, right hook, straight left hand, right on the button. That what was a perfect. Beauty. Beautiful combination. You heard Lou Fugazi said, had they counted out Frias on the low blow, they might have disqualified Zabiel Judah. That's why when you get a low blow and you're knocked down, you get the eight count, and that's what could have happened. Zabiel Judah with a perfect combination. Seconds down. Roberto Frias looks like he's outclassed in this fight. Sorry, I'm going to say that Judah comes out firing now. He's hyped. And he is all over. Great straight left hand. But he does does not have to do that. It's all adrenaline now. Yeah, I know. Oh, Frias with a good combination. Sometimes brains work a little better than adrenaline. Judah all over Frias. Big left hand. Tried that same combination yeah. again to score the knockdown. Left hand has been beautiful for Judah. Got great feints. And right now he knows he's in total control here. He can do whatever he wants. Spins away from Frias, got caught that time on the inside. Hey! 
Any time now, Frias is going to say, I only have one minute to go. I would better let it all hang out. He caught Judah again with a left hook. Judah's had that right hand down. He's gotten a little careless. Uh, again, this is the time when the coaches get a little nervous. He can move and he can dodge and he can duck uh, instead of making it a tough round. Blood coming from the nose of Norberto Frias. Frias went in again. Judah getting a little careless here and lackadaisical. And I think Frias may have caught his attention with that last punch that landed. A little tired too, Judah. But nailed Mark again. By Frias. Frias showing a lot of heart coming back. Great. Good. And Judah has checked the clock about three times. He's tired, Sam. Getting nailed. Look at Norberto Frias. He has aroused the crowd with his comeback. Now he checks. And here he comes. But Frias is going to run out of time. But not out of heart. Courageous battle for Norberto Frias. And he throws punches after the bell out of frustration. But a very, very good performance by Samuel Judah. His dad right there, Yoel. And now the apologies from Norberto Frias and the acknowledgement to the opposite corner. He's early in the round. You see Judah landing those wow. punches, but he didn't have to fight that kind of fight in the third round. Could have fought a tactical fight. That, that led to a standing Frias eight fellas. count. Boxer. Yeah. Frias came Boxer. back. Nice combination. Nice, fellas. Very Left nice. Left hook, right hand. Beautiful bout. The voice of referee Lou Fugazi acknowledging the, nice the boxers. Here's the official announcement of the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the men's 139-pound open class is from the gold corner, Zabdel Judah. of seven continents and 194 countries, Elton John knew exactly where he wanted to celebrate his 60th birthday. 